the manga pod, the show where I, Pasticia Luna, here with my co-host, Manga Chef Isaiah, read and or watch a thing and talk about it. Uh, I got to pick this week. Manga Chef Isaiah, what's the name of the thing I picked? This is no, there's no way you can fuck this one up. It's too easy. Toracus. Correct. I Correct. didn't fuck it up. I knew you couldn't. Look, man, this is like... Sometimes we, we, we I, you know, I don't expect a lot, but I know you could do this one, and you did it. You didn't let me down, and I'm proud of you. Anyway, uh, Torakis is a manga. It came out in April 27th of 2012 and finished June 27th of 2014. Four volumes, 24 chapters, published by ASCII Media Works, who owns Comic Den- Genki Dayo, and that's where it was serialized. It was written by Hajime Kamoshida, and it was drawn by a person under a pseudonym of Mato Tomato. Kamashita's a relatively popular writer, and I say that because two of the things that he's written have gotten adapted into anime. Uh, he wrote Hokago Idol. He wrote this, obviously. He wrote Sakura Son no Pet Nakanojo, which is an anime I really liked. And uh, more recently, he wrote Seishun Buta Yaro wa Bunny Girl Senpai no Yume wo Mirai. So, yeah. Also, there's a sequel to that. I, I wasn't aware of that until now. But, eh. So, uh, yeah. Was that the one where she gets, uh... It's not the robot, it's the girl who's ne- who, like, is bored of living. Oh, uh, okay. That the other the robot's the other thing. That's the th- conversation that's, that's we always to, have. Yeah, I just have to make sure. This is the conversation we always have whenever we bring up that thing. Is that the robot one? No, it's a different one. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Either you or I ask the other, was that the robot one? Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, Malka Shafazel, what the fuck is Tora Kiss and why is it so short? Um, it looks like it was supposed to continue on, but, uh, it's a fight thing. Yeah, it's a fight thing, but it's also a harem thing. It's, it's that special subgenre of battle harem, where your harem is also filled with people who do fight thing. And they kind of force it, because you have to... The loser has to do something for the winner. Okay, yeah. All right, look. But, uh... Before we get into that, I want to say one thing first. I want to say one thing. So it opens with a guy, right? Taketora Sato, and he's living with his sister, Kotori Sato. who's not technically his sister, but whatever, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that supposed to be a plot twist? <laughs> I, I don't think so, because otherwise I thought of her being really obvious to want to bone down with her brother would have been a little too direct. Because, uh, you know... They, they pull that very rarely in Japanese things, like, and you're blood-related to her. Ugh. Most of the time, it's, you know we're not blood-related, right? And I'm like, oh, I guess it's not messed up. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, whatever thing. Um, but no, I have this to say. So there's the they have the tattoos, right? Because of the, well, like, the marks because of the data shit, which is, like, the whole battle part of it. But there's the part where she, sh- <laughs> she shows him her cleavage. And she goes, like, it's, the mark is getting bigger. And it's like, oh, yeah. But, but, my, my, my thing about that isn't just, uh, oh, hey, you know, he's like, we bathe together, don't worry about it. My thing is more, he says, you know what I wonder? Why you're so short? And then she hits him and says, don't you sexually harass me. <laughs> yeah. I, I could sexually harass you, but you can't sexually yeah, harass yeah, me. Yeah, that's legitimately how I felt. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to come on aggressively and sexually. You're short. How dare you? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Is this where we're going? I was like, yes. Yes, it is. And the guy is always uh, hitting on the girl. Yeah, like, yeah. He's an aggressive for kindness. He's, he's aggressive, but he's not scummy. And I guess that's a positive. Yeah. Right? He's not scummy, which like is really the most I can ask for somebody whose entire thing is I like to, I like to say weird things. Yeah. Like haha, you grew up hot. Like okay, sure. At least it wasn't like, like the spider guy, the spider lollycon guy. Uh-huh. It was like I want to taste the supple flesh of unripened fruit. I'm like oh that sounds gross. <laughs> that sounds gross. Okay, so it's a fight thing. So what yeah. what kind of fight thing? Do you remember Infinite Stratos, everybody? <laughs> With the robots that only respond to women, right? Second, so we had a live audience. 
They'll be like, I just... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just want to set a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Yeah, that is what people would remember about the Infinistratos, huh? Put them in an arm bar. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking about that right now. The, the, as you say that, it's like put them in an arm bar, and I realized there's a lot less physical violence this time around, and I'm and I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> in most harem things, you usually end up seeing the guy get his shit beaten, <laughs> but for once, he doesn't get a shit beaten. <laughs> He just kind of like leaves, yeah. and or gets sexually assaulted. But uh, that seems to be it. Which I mean, as far as this genre is concerned, that's that's pretty okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's like data entities, and people can read from the data entities, and you get a what they call it a phi. Yeah, a phi. Yeah, a phi, phi, and then that gives you. Your, your spirit thing, and then you go murder people, or get into fights, or whatever. And like, most like Infinite Stratos, your rank is based on how good you are at the fight thing. And he's bottom of the barrel, because he doesn't like doing the fight thing. Uh, Which would and... be like us, or something. It's like, this fight thing is stupid. Not only is this fight that? thing stupid, but uh, I saw someone all fucking die because of the fight thing. I don't want to do the fight thing. I le I legitimately upset. It's it's the fucking um fucking Gawarada thing of hey p water, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly that. Except people don't say platinum umbreal all the goddamn time. They say they just fi say, and data entity. Yeah, they say fi and data entity. Which really, when you remember the ending of Gawarada, it was about data entities too. Fuck you. <laughs> Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Who knows? I don't want to think about it right now. Can I talk about that girl who's crazy, intense lesbian? Like, okay, you like girls. That's cool. Fine. Whatever. Why does everything with you have to be about fondling women? Why? Uh, for the views. I feel like this is definitely made for the fans. More yeah, than I, the actual this is, story. This is very clearly a fan service harem thingy. Like, I think at least every chapter you see some girl's underwear. Or cleavage. But nevertheless, um, I just thought that was weird. That's the part where he does the first fight thing when, oh, guess what? Childhood friend. Yeah, that's surprising. Childhood friend comes to meet him and goes like, hey, uh, you made me a promise. Let's fight. And he's like, uh, okay, sure. I don't want to fight. But, I mean, everyone's going to make me do it anyway or I'll get thrown out of school. Because the school is entirely predicated on fight thing. So, I guess I'll be thrown out. So, yeah, sure, whatever. And the person judging the, the fight thing, this is like, alright, hey, ready to have the fight thing? Like, yeah, okay, cool. And then she, like, looks at him and says, I mean, he, well, she doesn't look at him. And he goes, why would you at least look me in the eyes? I'm a human being. And she goes, you're like dog shit. Why would I care about you? He goes, that is awful. Is that what you use your tongue for? And then she says, no, I use it to lick the feet of Eleanor. And I was like, that is... That is a hard statement to make day one. I didn't even meet this lady till now, and now the first thing I know is she wants to lick all over somebody's feet. All right. Amazing. It's fucking... Um. Oof. Oof. I don't know, man. And then later, like, every time you see her, she's, like, fondling a girl. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Like, I, like, I, I get it. I just think, like, oh, that's real overt, isn't it? For something that probably shouldn't be too focused on the creepy part of it, on the sex stuff, it's uh, the gross part of it, it kind of is. Which is why I compare it to, like, um, Infinite Stratos. But Infinite Stratos at least kind of held back. You know? Yeah. This didn't hold back. Like, during the fight things, they didn't really show anything. You know what I thought about, uh, now that I've reread this for the first time in, like, six years? Uh, right. since you had me watch High School DxD, this kind of reminds me of High School DxD. Eh. No, I just, I cared more, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, like, on the overall, uh, Battle Harem thing. Oh, yeah, it's like High School DxD, or, uh, Seki Day, or whatever. But, like, it has no shame, so it reminds me more of High School DxD in that sense. 
But I think like, high school DXC was more tamed. Was it? I don't think so. I remember watching that show and there were like goo that like, what's the goo's power? It melts women's clothes. Yeah, and then he was like, yeah, sick. Be my buddy, goo. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel you have a skewed sense because you forgot what it was like. It's been a very long time since we watched it, but I, yeah. I didn't forget. I was just thinking, like, he went to their, uh, I guess the school, and how he many... saw them shower in the school. Yeah, how many times did he see them shower, though? Oh, uh, like yeah. every Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Uh, so... I mean, this guy always hits on a girl every time. I, I mean, most of the time he's just kind of in his room. Like, the, like the beginning part is him trying to take a shower. And yeah, then the girl, the girl there. walks in, and he's like, "Hey, okay, cool. Can I still bathe though?" <laughs> like the second uh, Hanasaki, the fr Sakura shows up, right? Like the she goes, "We're gonna have a fight." And he's like, "No," and he's like, "We're gonna have a fight." No, and then he's like changing, and he's like, "We're gonna have a fight," and he's like, "No," and then he's like using the bathroom, like he's on a toilet. We're gonna have a fight. No, <laughs> and then he's like bathing, and she pauses. Like, We're gonna have a fight, right? No, he's like, "Why are you keep stopping? I'm not gonna give up." And he's like, "Okay, fine, whatever." And he gets out the bathtub, and she sees his dick. She's like, "What's wrong with you?" And he goes, "What's wrong with you? I'm bathing. <laughs> Get out of here." <sighs> That's what I mean. Yeah, the guy has like no shame compared to high school DXT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean like <laughs> he's less overtly gross than the other guy. The other guy's like Ugh, boobs. This guy just seems to be like, oh, you're cute. Which is, like I said, he's more sexually aggressive, but at least it's not creepy. Yeah. Like, he's not like, ugh, tits. He's just like, oh, she's really hot. Want to go a date? No? Okay, fine, whatever. Forget I said anything. Or, right, you know what? You look better with your hair down. Like, it's it's a lot less gross <laughs> than I expected. Yeah, but, so... Um, in the art, in the art terms right like the panty shots and shit like that like that's gross and that's what it reminds me about high school dxd yeah then it's like really direct the guy isn't as much but the, the the whole feel of the thing is really overt but yeah it's a fight thing so okay do you want to talk about data transfer now or do you want to talk about the tiger thing first the the guys thing his tiger yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, his name is Tiger. Can we put that out there? Yeah. His name is Taketora, which if I'm going to guess that they wrote Take the, the, the regular way, his name is uh, Hawk Tiger. It seems really dumb. I'm going to guess that's not how they wrote Take. But uh, his name does totally have Tora in it, which is Tiger. And everybody else has like an animal fight thing. It's like, oh, I got a dragon, I got a snake, I got wolves, whatever. He has what looks like a mascot character. Is it? It looks like one. But I mean, I don't know, it's, what is it? It's, it's him, a, right? It's, no. No, it's not. It's, it's data that's been read from the, the monument. It's just whatever bonds with you. And there's only... And the thing was, there's like 13 humanoid shapes. And they're the most powerful of them all. Or whatever, 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 whatever. whatever. I don't remember all the detail. All I remember is that it's like, okay, there's this place where like you read data with your spirit or whatever. And then that becomes bonded to you. And then that's your fi. And then that's, that's it. And then it's like, and there's 13 human ones. And that's some wild shit. And then the first time he gets into a fight with uh, Hanasaki at the front of the uh, the whole school, he pops he pops out his tiger mascot guy and goes, "Is that a humanoid? Holy shit!" And then the lady who was like running the running the little battle goes like, "Ah, one of the thirteen human forms. No wonder they wanted me to come see this or whatever, whatever." <laughs> and I was like, oh, "Okay." Shit. He's no match for me. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. The, and the then he loses like, to him. Like, I was like, I got wolves. What are you going to do about it? That looks like a guy in a doofy costume. And he beats the shit out of her. Um, Sometimes but, he yeah. takes off the head. I mean, but there's nothing inside. Yeah. There's but you could go inside. inside the costume. You could go because in... it is a costume. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like a mascot costume. Uh, that makes me mad. 
<laughs> yeah, it looks exactly like a mascot costume. I get that that makes you mad, because that's dumb. But I don't know, man. The other girl has a has a human form that's like a giant dude in a suit of armor, and I think it's just a suit of armor. Yeah. But the point at least is he doesn't human, he doesn't put people in the suit of armor. I mean, we never even see her use it. She she pops it out and goes like the only thing that could take another humanoid is another humanoid, and that's it. And that's, and that's as far as that goes. I I love that. I love how cheesy fight things are. I don't really like them genuinely, but sometimes they'll do the same shit all the goddamn time, and it's kind of funny. Like that one, like that one is like the only thing that can, it's like it's like the only thing that can kill a dragon is another dragon. Like that. Like it's so cheesy and stupid. I fucking love that. That's funny. But she never even fights, so who cares? The only time we see her is when she's like grew up in teenage girls, which is again what I'm gonna say, like that feels a bit like too much. Like, no, like you gotta have it. I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like a lot. There's that time she's bathing with a girl and her hand literally goes down and like the girl gasps and I'm like, This is just pornography and they're like, No, no, see, because she's having an important plot dump while fingering that girl. I'm like, this is just porn. <laughs> porn. Important plot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and then the princess, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, but she's... Do you want to <laughs> talk about the plot? Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, so I want to talk about... All right, so we important talked about the costume plot. thingy. Yeah, we, talk, we talked about the costume thingy, right? Uh, and the, the yeah. fact that you get into it is kind of important. Yeah. But, I want to talk about the data transfer part of it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. So, so everybody's connected to the, to the monument, right? And they control the data beings, the data entities, and that's the Phi, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, but also, you can take the data from people through... And, and the phrase that they used was connecting mucous membranes, which is a lot of things. But what they meant was kiss. Yeah. But you lose to a person in the fight thing, you have to give them your data. <laughs> Which means you are obligated to kiss them. And they give you a 24 hour window to do it. That's the only way to do it. Yeah. Human form fucking data transfer. I, uh... Okay. Right. So they mean kissing. Yeah. And that's how you give people your data. And mm -hmm. it's like, okay. So that's what that means? And I was like, yes, that's what that means. He's like, okay. And then, like, the, he beats Hanasaki, and then she has to kiss him, and then he sees, like, a flash of the person that he actually cares about, Tsubaki, who is the twin sister of the girl who just showed up. So it is Kandagawarare with Sacrament. Um, kinda. A lot of things. It's little things from everywhere. It's kind of interesting on its own merit because it's so weird. Um, but I'll tell you what, uh, if, if we're gonna talk about serious plot, this shit is dumb. This shit is dumb. Like, dumb, dumb. <laughs> As it, would you, would you like to, would you like to try your hand at explaining it? Sure. Go for it. I believe the, the twin sister and the uh, friend. I mean, the old friend or whatever. Childhood friend. They control the gates. The. Was it like the data world or something? Yes. Yeah. The, the monument, which is the data world. And, you know, can't link the regular world and the data world. Oh, no, no, no. Because then the regular world is doomed, question mark? Maybe, I don't know. People are just like, no, we gotta do it, we're crazy. No, nope, ever explained it. <laughs> well, actually, there's one part where they go like, hey, what if you could get your family back? If you could tear them from heaven itself? <laughs> Using the... And I was like, what? What did you just say? And then the main guy, uh, Taketora, he goes like, oh yeah, nah, I mean, I wouldn't do that. What if they're chilling up in heaven? You don't want to fucking ruin the party, right? I'm like, what? That's your response? 
Not what do you mean heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Assume that data world goes to heaven? I guess so. Question, does that mean it also goes to hell? I, yeah. <laughs> if you don't really connect with your data, I guess you're that, a lost data. Yeah, <laughs> you're corrupted. You're a bad sector. You went to school for this, you should know. <laughs> What that means is you fragmented. Oh wait, what a fragmentation is you being a shitty person. <laughs> it's you fragmenting on the 8 HDD that is life. Yeah. 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 And you have to re recuperate the sectors by doing good deeds. Wait, am I writing RIPD? I think I'm just rewriting RIPD. <laughs> That's stupid. Forget what I <laughs> said. to burn to hell. Forget what I said. It's already been done. No, shut up. It's actually worse if we continue this path. Because RIPD's bad. The comic was cool. The, sh the movie was awful. Ghosts and ghost guns. It was bad. Okay, but um... So, Tora is the only one that could... Well, it's not the only one, but... He has a strong enough eye... To uh, stop them. To go through it. Yeah, I guess this is the student council. What they said was that only <laughs> with humanoid forms are capable of per of entering the monument and going past the gates. Because other people don't have the power, quote unquote. Because there's yes. a part, right? Where he's walking with a lolly queen and mm -hmm. they're like going down into the thing. And he's like, why, why aren't you worried about other people following us? And she, he, she goes, well... They don't have the power, so they can't get down anyway. And then it shows uh, Sakura and his sister just stuck at the door going like, What the fuck? Why can't we get in? <laughs> Which, like, doesn't make sense, because then how is Sakura supposed to open the gate if she can't get to the gate? Like, what the fuck does that mean? But I whatever. Don't... I don't care. I don't okay. care. There it is. Whatever. I'm just asking because you made up rules and then you broke those rules and that's dumb. Why is this happening in high school? Don't make up rules. Why is the high school built on this plant on this island that was made by space aliens? Maybe. I don't know. This seems kind of. It's literally the first out thing. There. The first thing they say is it's made by space aliens. Maybe. Because they're like, no one knows where the island was made from. It's futuristic. It, some people say it came from beings beyond the stars, and I'm like, Did, are you? Wait, aliens? Aliens? Well, yes, aliens. But who knows? What matters is humanity is fighting over it because it's a precious resource to get data entities. And let's put a high school there. And mind you, they say <laughs> humanity. There are two groups of people represented, the English and the Japanese. <laughs> they don't think they're the only people that exist on the planet Earth. Like, at least in fucking, at least in Infinite Stratos, they're like, oh yeah, we got the half-Japanese French girl to go. Yeah, but at least she's French, you know? <laughs> like, like, here, it was just the English people and the Japanese. That's it. Fuck everybody else. No one cares about India. No one gives two shits for China. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, all humanity is fighting, but all we see is England and Japan. Sure. I guess that's all of humanity. Who cares? Uh, also, that lesbian lady has a pet killer whale. I only say this because there's the part where the creepy Brad guy, it was like a, uh, the lollicon spider dude, he gets thrown into the pool. And he's like, what's this? He's like, oh, that's my pet killer whale. Its favorite food is people. I'm like, have you been feeding it people, lady? Have you been feeding this animal people? On the down low. <laughs> I mean, does that seem okay? What's that What's that based on? Because she's not one of the student council, right? She's one of the row, whatever that was. I forget. I just remember that it's like she's not a student council member. She's important. And I guess she can just feed people to her killer whale pet. Also, can a killer whale survive in a chlorinated pool? They can't. No. I don't know how that whale is in there. I guess maybe it's not a chlorinated pool. Maybe it's salt water. Maybe it's a data pool. I don't know. I like that. It, I like the idea of data whale. 
Who, who does the whale belong to then? Because everybody who has the data entity like owns something, right? Mm -hmm. Like the like the bird belongs to the sister. The 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 tiger belongs to the main guy. Oh, I just realized something. His sister's name is Kotori. Mm -hmm. That means little bird. So she has a bird monster. <laughs> it's doing the Pokemon thing. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Got one no, fuck you. Remember, what's his name? Mountain of Thieves. I guess he's a thief. So this is Gawarale. That's Gawarale. You know what? That would make sense. That would make sense if it was just a dumber version of Gawarale. It's Gawarale in school. That would work. I feel that's got legs. Gawarale is retarded. It's the best. But, um, I mean, yeah. Okay. So, what, what do you, what is it? What do you even want to say about it? Because it's just a harem thing, right? Fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she likes you. Yay. It seems to be yeah, like pretty much it. Yeah, you see some girl stuff. That's a an aggressive guy. Well, I mean, he seems like a predator. He doesn't just seem aggressive. Yeah, predator guy. <laughs> um, it was one aggressive, the dark skin one. I, I forgot her name was. Leona, cause lion. Oh yeah. See, see, it is. <laughs> What's going on there? I didn't think about that. Well, I mean, it's not entirely Gawarade, because not everyone's name has a thing. Because Tsubaki is a type of bird, but her thing was like a jellyfish, right? And Sakura's flower, that doesn't necessarily explain the wolves. But, um... No, nah, that, that, there's a few of those that work. Also, Brad. Brad had spiders. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. It got so fucking loud. <sighs> Why is it doing this? It's gonna be a weird episode to listen back to because your voice will randomly be louder and lower. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Okay. Keep an eye on it. I was keeping an eye on it. Oh, now it's at. Yeah, it picked up again. Oh, picks up is. and then it goes back lower. Are you sure you turned off all the settings? Because that sounds like the automatic gain control. Yeah, I could do screen share. I mean, no, it's good. I just, I'm just worried about your fucking interface. Okay. okay. There's a couple. There's a couple of lines that he says uh, to the girls that did make me laugh. That was like the genuine, the genuine, like legitimately funny things. There's that one where he's t talking to Sylvie about like how she lost her family, he lost his family, and it's like you don't have friends, but it's okay. Just talk to me. We'll like each other's wounds or something. <laughs> and she responds, with, "That sounds kind of dirty coming from you." And I was like, "Ah, that's a, that's a fun." Tet -a -tet. Usually it's just people shitting on him and then he goes like <laughs> But that was actually kind of a fun trait. Also, he keeps insisting people take baths with him. There's that part where he like ties up uh fucking Sakura and the sister. And he's like, uh and then Sakura's like, Darn don't molest me. He goes, Why would I want you? You sicken me. But then he tells the sister, he goes, But you yeah, yeah, you. I don't like little girls. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's... Oh. Oh, no. He also tells the brother very explicitly, like, hey, I want in on your sister. And then he goes, hey, you better keep your pretty face fucking far away from me before I make it not so pretty no more. Which is not not a great insult, but hey, that works. That's a threat, you know? <laughs> it's a compliment while insulting him. In, in a way, he was like, hey, you are pretty. But, okay, fine. Also, his friend constantly says, let me date your sister. 
Like, almost every time he sees him, he's like, hey, Sato, what's up? You gonna let me date your sister? And he's like, what? I mean, you ask her out. I don't want to be your family member, but you ask her out. And he's like, okay, cool. And then the other time, he's like, hey, you ready for me and your sister to get married? I'm gonna be part of your family. He goes, shut up. Shut up. Which seems like a weird thing for your friend to do. Yeah, they always go like, hey, I want to... I want to marry your sister. I want to sleep with your sister. Come on. Yeah, your sister's so hot. Come on. It's like, why are we doing this? Why is all of this happening? I would like to talk about Leona, though, since you mentioned her before as the the sexually aggressive one in the group. I like her. She's fun. I like her whole thing of like, hey, I don't know exactly what uh, people do for fun, but I'm bored, so let's do something. And he's and then he goes, I don't know love and she goes cool that works I heard people like love this seems okay (laughs) I could do something with this let me love you now yeah and she's like in his room or whatever oh yeah she just shows up in his bed but this time the person didn't put a a person in an arm bar (laughs) instead of attacking him uh, regularly, <laughs> sexually, which I would argue is much worse. But hey, that's me. That's my opinion on sexual assault. Uh, yeah, and she like throws herself on him, and he goes like, "Hey, so are we gonna do this?" And he goes, "Uh, no, we don't really. Please don't." I think what he says is, "Don't, don't be so aggressive. Don't, uh, and don't be uh so forward with your hand." And then she stretches out her feet. And he goes, what are you doing? He's like, it's okay, I won't use my hand. And he goes, that's not, it's a metaphor. <laughs> it is not to be taken literally. God damn it. I love that. And then and then she's like genuinely kind of con- comforting when she goes like, uh, no, see, the thing is, I love you, so I need you to love me. Please stop making me back. <laughs> also, she just cooks at his place. That's she's it. she's just his wife now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what she says, right? Commuting wife. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, what are you doing? I'm being a commuting wife. Does that make sense? Do people know what that is? I feel like that's self-explanatory. Yeah, it makes sense. I feel like it needs to be explained. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. But then Sylvie's also just there eating. She's like, what the fuck are you doing here? He's like, I am also a commuting wife. Don't accept this as a natural order to things. <laughs> I was like, eh, eh, I don't know. So like I said, 24 chapters are really short. So the, the, the bad guy, I guess, is Vivi Fairchild. And she's like, I want to open the gate for whatever reason. I don't even think that was really explained well. I don't think anything was explained well. Yeah. I got one thing to say about Vivi. Holy shit, one chapter faced her. That was amazing. You mean when she starts being... What do you mean? Alright, so Vivi shows up. Haha, ha, fuck you, I'm opening the gate. I'm gonna kidnap your friend. Okay, sure, whatever. Fuck, I have to go save her. Cool, end of next chapter. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, kisses Vivi. I need your data. I need, to, I need to get super buff to kill this thing. And then they do it. And then they're all fine. And then, oh, look, they got Tsubaki back. And blah, 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 oh, blah. Yeah. And then Vivi goes like, hey, you better take responsibility. Really? Really? Yeah. She's doing this? It's like, yeah, we're doing this. And I'm like, wow, she went from, oh, my God, I think she's going to eat my friend's soul to, yeah, okay, you could get it in, like, an hour? <laughs> like, an hour of real time. In, in, like, in reading it, it took me, like, five minutes. But that's what I mean. Like, one chapter face turn. This manga doesn't care. Manga don't go fuck. I was like, look. It's like, this is what you guys want, right? You guys want everybody to be, like, in love with this guy. Everybody in. We got all of the things. Younger sister. Older bitch girl. A soft, sensitive, quiet girl. A, a aggressive, tanned girl. She looks like a gal. Come on. Childhood friend. Playful childhood friend. Okay, the one that got me was the queen. I was, I was like, oh, oh, okay. Cause, okay, so Queen Ingrid the Fourth is like ten conservatively. 
Mm-hmm. Right? She's maybe 10. I would assume younger, but let's just say 10. Yeah? Okay. So she, like, bathes with him, which is not the weirdest thing in the world. It's kind of weird. But, like, again, small child. So, eh, I don't care. Right? Like, a fu- like you don't care if you're bathing a three-year-old. Like, who gives a shit? I would say she's a bit old for that. Mm-hmm. But also, she's, like, a sheltered princess. She's just like, do it. Do it. He goes, okay, sure, whatever. Um, And then when the girls show up, they go, like, hey, are you trying to diddle this child? And he goes, no. See? And he stands up and he shows them his dick and sees I'm not even kind of hard. That's how you know I'm not here to <laughs> And I just like, okay, okay, <laughs> that's how we're gonna run this. And the girls are like, don't I don't think you can say anything your... when you do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The girls like, don't show us your dick. He's like, but how else are you gonna know I don't diddle kids? And I'm like, <laughs> I was just like, oh, oh shit. Okay, I forgot about that. But then at the end. At the end, fucking, um, the, the, the lesbian lady, who I guess is bisexual based on this sentence, I'm not sure, she goes, oh, this looks like it'll be a, a fun orgy party. Maybe I should join in, too. <laughs> she says that. Yeah. When they're all jumping him. And when I, when I was like, I, I wrote here in big letters, Lottie Queen, no. It was, uh, was that immediately after that, the conservatively 10-year-old girl says, I don't know what an orgy is, but I'm in for this party. <laughs> I was like, no, no, leave, get out of here, scram, go somewhere. She's in. <laughs> Lolly Queen, no, because like, no, stop. I remember us having this conversation when I talked about it, when we talked about Azari Top Vampire, and I was like, Yukari's okay, and you were like, eh, she's like 12. And this is what I have to say about this. The distinction here. Is this 10 year old girl literally doesn't know shit. <laughs> she doesn't know anything. She hears the, she hears party and is like, cool. Yukari's disgusting. Yukari's gross. Yeah. So, and, and that, with and that. she's aware. With that mind. Uh, whatever. You have to be aware to be gross. You can't just be aware and also be like, ugh. Like, no. If you're aware and you're fucking gross about it then who cares but um yeah like that's the difference i would say because i remember you were like eh you caught his 12 and i'm like yeah but she literally says shit like can i have a threesome can we do this can we get this going somewhere where she sexually assaults sukune and stuff when like it's like reveal your inner self oh she's a disgusting pervert hey i kind of already assumed that Versus this 10-year-old girl literally doesn't know what's happening. I was like, no, you stay far away from this horrible debacle. You stay miles away from this small, small, small child. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Um. Uh, no. Nah. I don't have much to say about this thing. Did you at least enjoy it? Yeah, I liked it. I, I like it. funny. It's fun, right? It's not amazing, but it's fun. It's kind of like cheesy. It's moderating. goofy. It's goofy. Especially that, like, oh, you all need, you need a humanoid to take out another humanoid. Ah. And then she never fights anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I, I mean, like, it's 24 chapters, so you could read it in very, very quick amount of time. Yeah, it was uh, like, the first chapter is kind of long, but then the rest are like, a page. Like a normal amount, like 25, 30. Yeah. But what was probably a monthly, since it took two years, right? Mm-hmm. Probably a monthly, so, yeah. Not that, not that bad. All right, well, I guess it's time for food, then. Are we going to compare it to other stuff we reviewed? You want to do it like that? Okay. So... It's like Alvarado, but it's also like uh, High School DxD. But the distinction is, I legitimately enjoyed this. In High School DxD, I would need something to enjoy it. 
So are you saying it's just it's a cannoli with chocolate? Is this the chocolate dipped cannoli? I don't know because I kind of wanted more. I wanted more than one. Mm. Like, I'm not happy with, like, just, uh, rereading this, I was like, ah, oh, damn it, I feel like this could have gone on for a little bit more. Yeah. And the last chapter is way too short. That's what I mean by PV did a face turn in, like, a chapter, I didn't even get to see what she's like. Like, what's her thing? Is she supposed to be Momo from 2 w Like, haughty? I don't know. I want to know. But I, I guess I don't get to know, because it's the end of that. Although, to be fair, um... And I kind of think of what Vivi would maybe be like, potentially. It sounds like the same character that's the underclassman in, um... Bunny Girl Senpai. Who then got her own leading role in the sequel, apparently. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So what What would you say? Would you say, like, a cannoli thing? I don't know. I feel like I could want more. Maybe... Because it's a fight thing. It has romance. I was also going to compare it to... Gaburale. You were gonna compare it to Gawarade? Yeah. Okay, but Gawarade was completely bad shit. Yeah, it's not as bad shit. It's still a little bit. It's squirrel shit. Yeah. It's nutty. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like that? It's squirrel shit. Yeah, yeah, it's squirrel shit. It's also a rodent, but it's not like, holy fuck. Okay. Alright. So let's see. Would you consider a chocolate bar? Would I consider a chocolate bar? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, look, it's sweet. You can have peanuts in it, right? Like, not like a general purpose chocolate bar, but can you follow my analogy? Mm -hmm. Like, it's sweet. It could have stuff to it. But also, you might not want just one. You might want more chocolate bars. Yeah, you might want more than one. Cause I like like two Hershey's cookies and creams chocolate bars at a time. I don't really want just one because one never always feels like it's not enough. Yeah. But like, take this analogy with a much more broader sense. Like I feel that like you can narrow it down to a type of candy bar. I'm just saying. Do you feel like a chocolate bar would work with this? Yeah, I'll say like a candy bar. Cause despite, or cause despite it being a fight thing, I genuinely enjoyed it. Most of the time, I don't give a fuck about fight things. Some of the fight things really work, like uh, King on Asura or Rosario the Vampire ended up a fight thing, and I still really cared. Um, but you know, like other times, it's like fight thing, I don't give a fuck. Like, uh, shit, I can't even really name most of them because I don't, I don't care. Like Black Clover, Black Clover's a thing, I don't care. <laughs> it's not that it's not a thing, I just don't care. Um, okay, okay. How about... Okay, I have a question. Do you ever actually get... Are you ever actually, like, comfortable with one Snickers? Yeah. Yeah, I am too, right? So, like, Snickers isn't great. Do you want to say it's half of a candy? <laughs> oh, no, that's too specific. <laughs> That's too weird, because then that means, like, okay, <laughs> this is three quarters of a Kit Kat. Like, no, 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 I don't want to go down that path. We're already talking about fan fiction. We don't need to get even weirder. Yes, yeah, that's, that's too. Yeah, then, um, then we would have, like, a quarter of a stick of, of, like, of a Charleston Chew, and I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, I was thinking, say, like, a candy bar dipped in... Would you say this, this manga's pretty? Yeah. Just say John's really nice, right? Mm-hmm. How about Ferrero Rocher? Yeah, it's pretty nutty. Because Ferrero Rocher <laughs> has, like, walnuts and, like, stuff inside of it and, like, caramel and shit like that. But also, you can't ever have just one because they're so small. Right? Mm-hmm. And there's, like, not a lot to this manga. 
but I feel like it could have carried places. So how about a Ferrero Rocher? Yeah, that works. All I'm, right. If you're saying the nuts are like alcohol, though. I mean, <laughs> are are there it's... alcoholic Ferrero Rochers? I don't know. Time to do live research. Because I was saying, like, compared to Gavaroi, it's kind of weird. There, there are some with uh, alcohol, actually. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, well I guess it's a Ferrero Rocher. Works. It works. Ferrero Rocher. Yeah, Ferrero Rocher. Rochelle. Yeah. Thank it's you. French. It's obviously French. Why wouldn't it be? Some so much stupid shit. Okay. So alright. Well, guess what? It's time for you shut it's time for everybody to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Time for juice. I don't I have no fucking clue what you have to tell me. Inform me. Educate me. I'm so I'm so interested to see what you have to say. I was gonna talk about Comic Breaker. Okay, cool. That's what happened? It's coming up this week. On uh, Thursday, or Friday. Okay. Uh, there's about 3,000 people. That sounds like a lot for Combo Breaker. It is. I think. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's more than like 500 people. Jeez. Let me look it up right now. Yeah. Yeah, last year there was um, 2,700. That's half more. Holy shit. Oh, wait, no. That's, that's a couple a little, hundred people. Yeah, it's like 300 people. 700, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a couple hundred people. Huh. Oh, but this time it's 3,100. That's a couple hundred people. So, yeah. like, close to 400, 500. Depending on how if anything else is happening. Okay. What are the pools based on? Like, who? what are the games? What's going on? More... <laughs> Basically all the fighters, Mortal Kombat 11, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, Dragon Ball Z. Is gonna be there? Yep. Eunice is getting its place and I'm happy for it. Vampire Savior is there. Third Strike is always there. Wait, what? Vampire Savior? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. So Calibre 2. Soul Cal 2 is always there. Yeah. Because it's most people's favorite Soul Cal. I think they don't have um, Fighting EX Layer though. So that's not good. It's not good for EX Layer, no. It was there last year. Fexel! Fexel doesn't have numbers anymore. Mm. It's got a dedicated base, but it doesn't have numbers. Yeah, that's the problem with the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's a I shame. do want to start playing it again. No, oh, that'd be cool. Did you uh get a feel on Skullomania? What's he like? Uh he's kinda like a rush on grappler. Really? That yeah. does not sound like the Skullomania I remember from Fight Street Fighter EX three. But okay. That's uh. it. Kind of abuses the super a lot. Okay. Cause um, everything he does is minus. Is it the wave? Yeah, the wave. The wave is the one that I figured would be spammable. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I've seen this one, and they have the new character, the one with the gunshots. What's her name? Don't ask me, dude. I the didn't revolver. play it. But she has like six bullets and she gets. Well, and she gets to um, spam them. You can't re reload though. So once you use the six bullets, you're done. Is she. Is she from one of the other games? or? Is yeah, she, she is. Is it. Is it Sharon? Yeah, Sharon. Oh my god! Really? Mm hmm. Holy shit! Wow! Oh. EX2! Yeah, yeah, yeah! 
She has a wild tattoo of a rose on her, uh, like her neck, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is Sharon. Oh wow. She's an agent for some sort of organization. I don't remember. <laughs> I played a lot of EX3 when I was like younger because it was on PS2. I didn't have Third Strike yet. But uh, man, man, is it fun? And we got it's, Terry. Yeah, it's like slower, but it's yeah. got more juggle to it. So I, I like that. It was like a there's an in between for uh, SF and Tekken. It was weird. I liked it. Yeah, I like the game too. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad the EX layer is bringing her back. Cracker Jack is in there, right? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so I remember they they had Alan from EX from Fighting Lair like. Hard, hard, like everybody loves Alan. Fuck you. Oh wait, no, he's back. He's in. Cracker Jack is in, right? Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Cracker Jack's fun. His entire thing is, I am a mafia enforcer. People pay me money. I'm going to murder this man with the bat now. And that was super. <laughs> Oggy doggy, that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited for Comic Breaker. Yeah. Wait, that th that's the thing you're hype about. Oh, that's also the news. It's also coming up. It's also an informative thing. Yeah, People get I can ready be hyped about news. Here. I can be hyped about news. I'm actually hyped about my news too. But it's not the thing I really want to talk about in terms of like, let's just spend 20 minutes bullshitting on something stupid. But this thing, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of hyped. Uh, you know Viz Media, right? They publish anime here in the States. Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. And talking around for... Correct. Yeah. They help. They help with games uh, and and IS America and stuff. So guess what? Viz is re-releasing Inuyasha on Blu-ray, <laughs> which like I had the DVD box sets of one through seven. And guess what? I'm also gonna buy the Blu-ray because I'm. This is who I am. This is who I am. Uh, but God damn it, I love Inuyasha so much. <laughs> it's it's dumb how much I love it. I just. Oh, well, this is so exciting for me. I wonder if they're gonna like is is it just gonna be like an upres or is it just gonna be the original for uh four eighty uh p version of it? Because I mean it it was made a long time ago. That show's from like two thousand three, two thousand. Well, the show's in like two thousand, and then the 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 final bit of it is like from two thousand nine. So I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna look. Like the final act, the second half, like two thousand nine. That one's, that one's definitely gonna be 720 because that's around the time when that stuff started change shifting over. But the old stuff is really, really old. It's NTSC. So I wonder what it's gonna look like now, and if they're gonna add anything else, like the movies and stuff. Oh man, I like Inuyasha so much. So it's so weird, cause like, like oh, I'm gonna go fight these demons, cause blah 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 blah, blah and then I make a wish or whatever. But like most of the episodes are. Hey, 15-year-old girl, are you interested in me? No? Okay. Wait, what do you mean, yes? Ah, <laughs> it's like the whole show. <laughs> and it's my favorite. And like, also, 15-year-old girl, you look like that woman I was in love with, but she's dead. Oh, she's back as a zombie? Well, fuck. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> also, he has daddy issues. Is he hey. voiced by... Um, Tomo Neki. What's his name? The guy who did the voice of Griffin. Oh, oh, uh, Tomo Kozaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm actually struggling to remember who the fuck was the original voice actor, cause that was a really, really that show was forever ago. Holy shit. I feel like I was a guy named something Yamaguchi, but I don't remember because it was forever ago. You remember? You remember? I was like six when that show came out, right? I say I. We're the same age. Really? We were like six when that show came out. Yeah. So, you know. You know what I do remember, though? There's this part where his brother, who's like a huge douchebag, like, uh, sees a whole bunch of people uh, hanging out. And like uh, they're treating this little girl like shit, and she's like gonna die. And he goes, "Fine, I'll save you, little girl." And then she goes like, "We're gonna get married." And he goes, "So whatever," because it's like the 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 16th century. So if you're 13, you might as well be an adult. 
That's the world in the, in the 1500s. It oh. was like, okay, fine, a little, fine, eight-year-old girl. She grows up, she goes like, we're gonna get married. He's like, sure, whatever. And that's the end of that. Mm. Oh, man. So, yeah, and I'm really excited to, to get those Blu-rays, because this is who I am. What okay. quality is it? What? Is it like uh, 1080? That's what I mean. Like, I don't know yet. It's just going to be pushed to a Blu-ray. So okay. presumably, its original run was in 480 because that was the best of the time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they're going to upscale it to 720 and 1080 or if they're going to keep it as is. Because the DVDs have it as is. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Are you ready to talk about something else? Oh, what? shit. You hype? Oh, shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm hype. What are you hype about? Go, 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 go. So as you know, yesterday I went to uh, the gaming place, right? Yeah, what's it called? Um, Next left. No, I went to uh, the Microsoft you... Center. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I played this game. <clears throat> it was like Connect Four, but oh, um. Okay. It's a little bit different. What do you mean? So, it's like a chessboard. And, yeah. um, you could put uh, you and your opponent on the opposite side of the chessboard, but you could put your pieces anywhere, and they slide across the chessboard. Like, on their own? Yeah. Ethically? It's, yeah, it's like a board game, but yeah. But it must be magnets, right? No, you you slide them there out yourself. That's what I asked, like uh, on their own, and you said yes. Oh uh, no. Okay, so you set them up anywhere. Okay. Yeah. And they have to slide unless they go to the jelly in the middle. What? Yeah, the jelly stops it. Okay. But, okay. Uh, it how sounds you, complicated, but it's kind of simple. How do you capture the other pieces? Is there like a set motion type, or is it like chess nah, where each different type has it's a... It's like Connect 4. You just want to Connect 4. Oh, okay. Just like Connect 4 in that sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That sounds weird. I want to see it. To, like, and you can like, push your other pieces. So let's say it's stuck in the jelly. If you slide another piece to it, you can push it one space up in the jelly. It was interesting. Yeah. That does sound that does sound weird. I want to see it. It's called 4Z. 4Z. Mhm. Mm F O U R S I E or yeah, Z Y. Z Y. Z Y. Z Z Y. 4Z. What? 4Z. F O U R Z Y? Yeah. Okay, not Z U I. Yeah, Z Y. Z Y. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that does sound interesting. I'm going to look that up. That, that sounds fun. Okay, guess what I'm hype about? What are you hype about? I'm fucking hype as shit about Super Mario Maker 2. Oh, uh, yeah. It is the <laughs> fucking raddest thing ever. Wait, is it out? No, it's going to be out at the end of the month. Actually, it's going to be out in time for my birthday. Okay. So I have to get a Switch, A. Eh? Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny, actually, when I say that. Like, yeah, I'm hype for Super Mario Maker 2. You got a Switch? No. Well, but I want <laughs> I, I, alright, look. I'm not a Nintendo shill. I'm not. I'm a Sony shill. And that's no <laughs> lie. I will suck Sony's dick like it's somebody who is going to give me money. Okay? But, but this, this one thing, this has got me hype as fuck. This has made me want to get a Switch. And that's that things have come out, you know? Things have come out since, like, the Switch has existed. Really hype shit, really cool shit, Super Mario Party, stuff like that. But I've never wanted a, a Switch so bad before this moment right now in Super Mario Maker 2. Actually, it comes out exactly on my birthday. I just looked at it. Sick. So, uh, you, you know... Get a, not... Can you get the Switch Super Mario Maker 2 package? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to do that. I'm probably... I mean, like... You can a... get it with Nintendo Online as a yeah. digital fee thing. So, uh, like, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna see if I get in on that shit, cause I want it, want it What's so bad. What's the difference? 
Okay, so check this. How does Mario Maker work? Essentially, you you have tile sets. You have certain things like uh, like the like the scroll like the fucking propeller things, right? You have like springs. You have your enemy types. Very classic, basic shit. You just kind of build stuff, so it's like, oh, you have to jump on this spring to get to this spring to get to this platform, and yada yada, right? You mm-hmm. can have shit come out of the tubes. All of this is considered very normal. You can put stuff inside of blocks, and you can give people power-ups, or not give them anything, right? And you can use Yoshi. You know what Super Mario Maker 2 does? It steps this fucking game up. It goes <laughs> really, really wild with this shit. So check it. First of all, you can do the you can do uh, a like pre-planning test course. So before, what you would have to do is you have to build the course, then test it, and then if you die, run it over. You can run it from intermission to intermission. So you're like, I want to just test this part of the stage. Just do that. Also, before all you really had was Mar- Super Mario, Mario 3, and Mario World, right? That's all you could do. And also Super Mario World, but like the 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 new one on the on the Wii, right? So mm-hmm. you couldn't do too much with that. You had like propeller hats and you had like a few things and all the classic power ups everybody knows. Cape, flower, yada yada yada. But again, you couldn't do like really weird shit like underwater or like forest or desert or, you know, shit like that. All you could do was like regular old uh, level to level and uh, the fucking castle and that's it. Fuck you though, we can do water now. You're gonna I'm gonna make you swim. Oh what? nice. Or you can do airship. Remember airship with the scrolling screen? Yeah. Also, you can adjust and control the scrolling screen in which direction and how fast you want it to go. Oh, mid So you can create purely vertical levels. Oh, yeah. Purely horizontal and slightly angling up. Right? Mm. That's already pretty hype in and of itself. Just adding that layer to Mario Maker already gives you a lot of opportunities. But there's completely new shit, right? Like you could uh, build slopes. You can build a uh, fucking, um, you can control the rise and fall of water levels so you can have like the swimming stages. And you don't have to just do it with water. In, in other tile sets, you can make it lava. So it's an instant death. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you can also create these blocks, right? Where they, if, they touch the, if they throw the block into the water, it floats. And guess what? It just doesn't float in water. It floats in lava. You can build conveyor belts. Is that Mario Bros. 3 or is that Super Mario I... World? I think that's Super Mario World, right? I think that's Mario World, yeah. But you can put they it in the glowing any box. One. You can put it in any single one. They uh, have the they have the switching time blocks, right? The 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 ones that change color and flip in between. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones from Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. Mm-hmm. You can do that. You can build slopes like in Super Mario World where you uh where you could like slide down and kill uh fucking Goombas. Mm-hmm. You can use the angry sun. You remember that angry sun? That fuck? Yeah, I hate that guy. Yeah, you can use him now. You can build snake. Oh, blocks. the cloud guy. You can use uh, him. Oh, Lucky 2? Yeah, 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 you can use Lucky 2. You can no, always be able to use Lucky 2, but the sun is a fucker. Because the sun always comes in at, the, at an angle. So you can do snake blocks, which is the blocks that, like, they pop up in the form of a, in a, in a pattern that you decide, and they disappear going forward. So they basically have to follow the blocks at certain angles. So you could do the on-off switch, which is like there's red blocks and there's blue blocks, and you hit the switch to switch between the two different sets of blocks. So if you if it's like on, it does the red ones, and if it's off, it does the blue ones, and then the red ones are gone. So you can build entire trap sets based on just that. You can change tracks on uh, the the fucking the the like uh. You know the the trails where like you usually when you're airborne like there's like a little platform that you're standing on and it follows a track all the way mm-hmm. through, right? Mm-hmm. You can you can use the on off switch to switch tracks. Oh, uh, that's new. Yeah, it's fucking radical. Wait, and that's also, also from Mario World, isn't it? I mean, yeah, but you weren't able to do it in Super yeah, Mario. Yeah, you can do in the Maker. Yeah. Now it's there. You can build a seesaw. You can have uh for the also with the on off blocks, you can do that the conveyor belt switches directions. And that's in every game? Yeah. You can do that in every single mode. Huh. So there's a seesaw that has to balance, right? If you put, if you stand on one side, it falls too deep. If you stand on the other side, it falls too in. So then you can force them to balance like over a lava pit while crazy shit's happening. They have claws. Claws that you jump into and then they hold onto you. And then you can use the momentum to launch yourself in other directions. Like I already mentioned. Wait, the... what? Yeah. All right. So like. So basically... When was that there? Uh, I think that's three. 
but I don't remember. All I remember, I remember seeing it in Mario Maker 2 Direct. And I was like, okay, okay, I could do a lot with that. No, but, I kind of want to switch. Yeah, 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 right? Like, this seems really, really fucking hype. Like, I want to experiment to play around with this. Like, I thought Mario Maker was pretty cool, but it was it didn't have all the stuff that I really wanted to, to fuck around with, you know? Because all I could really do is maybe, like, make a Kaizo level and it'd just be really accurate. But, like, this has some really goofy potential to it. This is a lot of shit. I really it seems like, like you can make an actual level. The on-off switch, like, I feel like I would have so much fun with just that. But mm -hmm. there's all this other stuff that's also there. Because, like, with the on-off switch, you could build, like, conveyor belt levels that lead into, like, the, the side-scrolling, like, going up and down, like, like in Donut Hill. But also, you still need to use the on-off switch to get on the right track. Like, that type is fun. Also, you can mix it with the water. Yeah. So you can, yeah. like, go into the water off the conveyor yeah. belt. So you could do like uh like I said oh they also got the bonsai bill now remember that's the the big bullet bill right but you can make it homing by making it red uh the faster ones yeah also there's the dry bones shell which I don't think that's in a game at all I think that's just new to this um so basically it's it's like a it's like the the Karibo boot right the boot that you get in Super Mario Land when you jump on the fucking Goomba inside of the boot mm -hmm. okay except it's impervious to fire. So you could use it to make someone have to like go through uh what is essentially a canal thing with uh lava. Oh, that's cool. Also, if you hold down, you become <clears throat> invincible for like a few seconds cuz it's the it's basically the the fucking uh the fucking dry bones going like ah, like when it collapses and then it gets back up. Mhm. Mm that's what you do. You can also make big coins so you can trick them into gambling on stupid shit. Like, this one is worth 50, 50 coins. Want it? Chase it. Hmm. It's really fucking cool. Also, this is another one that's hype as fuck. Okay, so not only can you just make random crazy shit with all of this stuff, right? You can set clear conditions. So you only beat the level when you kill this many dry bones. Or you or collect get eight coins. coins. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's combining that with all of the other shit. Right? Or mm -hmm. there's one that they sh d demonstrated. I want to see what the other ones are. But one of them is like, you can only complete the level if you're still Super Mario by the end of it. So don't get hit with the so you lose the mushroom. I'm like, oh, sorry. So good. So people you, go south having those checkpoints. Yeah. So you got icicles, you got Yoshis that breathe fire, you got parachutes. You know, you got some bosses and stuff. That's pretty cool. But like all that other shit for like building. It's, like, amazing. All right, so the sun, right? All right, I talked about the sun. Mm -hmm. So there's an alternate version of the sun that's the moon, which you just, like, click on it, and you switch it to the moon. And on its own, it doesn't chase you, but it changes the effects of the world entirely. So in the underground, everything is flipped upside down. In the desert, everything is uh, getting blown by a sandstorm. In the, in the boo house, everything is just dark. If you're in the sky, it, there's like zero gravity. You, you you fly a lot higher than you normally would with every jump. So that's like three times as many d things you can do with just those with just like the on-off switch, and the and the scrolling and the moon thing alone. But the night effects also carry out into everything. So I think like the rotten mushroom is becomes the inverted version of the one-up shroom, because you know how you don't actually get lives in Mario Maker. You just beat it and that's it. Right? Mm hmm Right. So that way you can actually have a use for the fucking one-up shroom <laughs> instead of just points. Also, now you can do Super Mario 3D World, like the one that was on the, the Wii U and the DS. So you have Cat Mario, and you can climb walls, and it's basically 2.5D. And you have all the pipes and the, the wild shit that like pushes you all the way through that existed in uh, Super Mario 3D World. There's a lot of stuff there. The crates are the thing I was talking about that they added as part of 3D World where you can like put it on top of lava and stuff. And you also have the warp box so you can send them to secret rooms if they happen to get it. You got spike blocks that like just activate spikes at either timed intervals or you can combine it with the on off switch. And then you have like chasers and you have like so much shit is going on in this <laughs> game. Like it's amazing how much they stepped it up. Like, I remember when I heard the first one, I was like, oh, this seems pretty cool. Like, I, I like it, but I don't know if I would buy a Wii U for just this, you know? Because the Wii U didn't really have all that much that I wanted. But, like, now, with all of this shit, 
on top of what the Switch already has, this seems fucking amazing. And you know what else? Like, this is, this is, like, besides all the fucking crazy shit I've already talked about, like, one of the things I'm really, really into is the fact that you can now make online levels that are co-op. Yay. Yeah. So they, they force them to help each yeah. other. You could either ha- make them help each other, or you could make them compete, like, in a race. Either With one. the vertical, yeah. Yeah, well, Scroll you could do speed. all this shit, man. You build the level to be the level, mm-hmm. and then you give them the opportunity to play together. That seems great for like right? tournaments and stuff. Yeah. It's so fucking cool. There's a, there's gonna be an inter in uh, invitational now that you mentioned a tournament. It's gonna happen in a few weeks. Uh, let me see if I can find the date. I'm looking at the the stupid video right now because I was looking for all the little details, but like overall, it just looked fucking amazing. Like it was you, so cool. You think it'll just be for um, like the well known people? It's invitational, like- buddy. So they gotta give call you by name. Yeah, you know, it's not gonna be what I wanted it to be, but hey, who cares? I wish it was an open thing. Make more things open, like Evo. Just let people show up, and if they're good, they stay. If they if they suck, then get them the fuck out. But you know, there's there's a place for invitationals. It's called the trash. No, I. I, I, <laughs> I but like you know, I just think it's cool. I just think it's really it's a really really cool fucking game. And I've never really wanted to switch as badly as I do right now. Because there's cool shit. You know, there's that raising sim that our friend bought. There's, uh, there's a couple Fire of... Fire Emblem. Yeah, there's Fire Emblem. There's fucking, uh, what do you call it? Super Mario Party. There's, there's cool shit on there. Mario Kart. Everybody loves Mario Kart. If you don't love Mario Kart, you're a terrorist. Uh, well, there's the, the they do have the terrorist shell. <laughs> <laughs> they got Cuphead. They got a whole bunch of cool things, you know? Like yeah, yeah I, I, girls. You, know, you don't necessarily have to play Cuphead on the Switch. I'm just saying, as far as things that you can take, you know, mm-hmm. uh, that's a really cool way to play it. Cause you sure can't take it on the fucking Vita. Cuphead didn't give Sony money. Uh, Pokemon, Yoshi's Crafted World. There's cool shit on there, and I and I I just never really like had something that made me go, damn it, I need a Switch. You know, it was always just like, oh, you know, if I had a Switch, I'd probably play that. I think it was um for me like oh, I've seen these franchises before. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like oh, it's 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 a new Zelda. Yeah, and it plays a little differently, and that's true. But it just it it wasn't enough to make me go like fuck. I need that. You know, mm-hmm. it's just kind of cool. So I was like, okay, you know, that's all right. I don't know if I had one, I'd probably buy it. The the Toho game. I was like, if I had one, I'd probably buy it. But I'm not, you know. Nothing about it makes me go like, fuck, I need this thing. I need, I want to spend hours doing that. You know, like Splatoon. Like Splatoon, cool. Do I want to spend hours playing Splatoon? Not really. I don't mind getting drunk when my friends is playing Smash, but I'm not about to spend 280 to have Smash on a fucking console I'm not going to use. You know? Yeah. Versus I can really see myself spending hours upon hours upon hours building levels. Tweaking and fucking around, tweaking and fucking around, and just sending it to our dickhead friends. Mm-hmm. They're like, guys, guys, you gotta play this level of me, <laughs> and just watch them go nuts. And then you put a spike block, a hidden yeah, block yeah. on the first jump. <laughs> yeah, make a multi-level thing, and I was like, oh, on off, what's that do? Oh, fuck, I killed Carl. <laughs> 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 like, it'd be really cool. Okay, so the Invitational is June eighth. That's before E three. Mm-hmm. That's like a few days before E3. Oh, wow. Ah, okay. Next, next month is looking really good. Next month is looking really good. If only Honey Pop came out in June. Don't jinx Damn it. Too. Damn you. They said the winter, so. It's I, fine. I think so. It's fine. As long, as long as I get to see that game before I die, I don't care. That's all I'm asking. Don't, don't, don't let me die in like a horrible train accident or random violent stabbing. If if I am going to die that way, at least let it happen after I beat Honey Pop 2. Not before. That's all I'm asking. Let me play Catherine. And then let me play Honey Pop 2. And then if I die, uh, whatever. Fuck it. I got to see those, you know? That's all I'm asking. I want to play this game. I need to switch. I want to play this game. I need to switch. That's all I'm saying. 
studs don't want to die yet. Not before I get to do this. Man, that's, that, now that I say that out loud, I'm like, wow, that's a really weird bar to set. Yeah. People are like, I want to last forever. I want to have a family. I'm like, I don't want to play Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to finish Berserk. I want to. F I oh, no, I'm gonna die. Before Berserk. <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna say that as a joke. Because realistically, I'm gonna die before That's Berserk. That's somebody's ends. bar. It's somebody's bar. Somebody's like, I better not die before Berserk ends. Casca better remember. And it's like, well, I think she does because she showed that she was getting. Yeah, no, 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 but I want a permanent confirmation. I want her to go out, get the armor, and say, uh, guts. Let's go murder Griffith. And I was like, yes, this is the woman I fell in love with. <laughs> I need Griffith to be dead. I need, I need, I need to like tear all of the God Hand to pieces now. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Uh yeah, I'm just really hype as fuck for for uh, you know Super Mario Maker Two. It's amazing. It seems so fucking cool. I've never wanted to switch more than right now. So you know. For all, I, I mean, for those of you who already know, then I guess this is me just catching up with you. Because, like, this this thing came out a few days ago. Like, the, the direct, but, like, dude. I just fucking love, I just, this seems so hype. This seems so hype. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for Manga Palette today. Uh, yeah. thank, thank you for listening. <laughs> I guess they're here. You get it. Hey, you guys got it. Yeah, you get it, bye.